Nearly every scene, whether a showcase build or a UGC promo, will have one primary light source, the sky. So why is it so hard to work with? You either have to look at this black magic properties panel to change where your light comes from, or if you're a little more plugin savvy, you might turn around and start dragging the sun through the sky, facing exactly the wrong direction to see the impacts of your lighting changes on the scene you're trying to light. This is clearly bad, right? Like you could easily lose minutes at a time just flicking between making a change and then having to look back and see whether it had the effect you wanted. It's always bothered me as a lighting designer. So today I'm letting you in on my secret weapon. LTOB Relight. I've been using a prototype version of this plugin for a while now, and let me tell you, it has completely changed the way that I light scenes. I am so excited that I finally get to talk to you about it because, and I'm being genuine here, this is not a bit, I will not use any other lighting methods anymore. This plugin is the one for me. It's all because of its interaction modes. They're super creative and unique, and they keep my eyes on the scene I'm trying to work with. I'll start with a basic one. It's called face mode. Think of it like this. You just want light to fall on some side of an object just flatly. That's what face mode does. So I can just click and I get exactly the lighting that I wanted. Or if I'm not so sure about this angle, I can actually drag it around. I can say, well, maybe well, there's a tree over there. Yeah, that, that looks good. In a fraction of a second, I've just saved myself from doing minutes of fiddly work. All right, so this next mode is my absolute favorite for making stunning and beautiful scenes. It's called bounce mode. So as the name suggests, this mode lets you bounce light off of things. You know those gorgeous shimmers you get when an object catches the light just right? Well, this mode lets you instantly do that wherever you like. Just click, look, it's literally one click. Working out the angles for this would have taken me ages. Now it's just there. I love this one because it's just a factory for gorgeous, contrasty, glimmery lighting. It really brings out the best in water and metal. So if you model guns or props, or if you have water around, this is the mode for doing lighting. It's so fun to just hunt around for highlights. All right, so let's talk about line modes. This mode is much more about shaping the shadows in your scene. You can drag out a line and all the shadows will follow that line in your scene. I consider this to be the workhorse mode because in addition to all the artistic uses, of course, you end up using this mode for all the functional stuff too. So I use line mode all the time when I'm doing gray boxing or working with geometric scenes like architecture or cityscapes. It gives you direct power over exactly where the shadows land. I'm actually kind of surprised that even in AAA game engines, nobody else lets you drag out shadows like this. It's just the right way of doing it. If I could only keep one of these modes, it'd be this one because you can use it for everything. All right, if your mind isn't already sufficiently blown, I'm about to blow it. Like, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to do it. Watch this. Isn't that magical? You're dragging the shadows. This is shadow mode and it's by far my favorite nerdy little party trick because when people see this for the first time, they're just kind of like, what? You can do that? Party tricks aside, I really like this mode as a polishing brush. Like you can sketch out you know, roughly what you want and run the other modes. It doesn't have to be super precise. And then you can just come in with shadow mode and you can just get it just right. So I don't know, maybe a bit down or well, there's that bit over there maybe on a little bit down there yeah that looks good so i would never have dreamed of doing this before like i'd be in the properties window i'd be putting decimal points in i do not have time to do that like this is a revolution in itself i can fundamentally do more now and in case i did not make this clear earlier this took me seconds lighting is just a solved problem now i could just light it up and then go do something else i don't even know how much money i've saved this way like it's just fun i didn't know lighting could be fun <laughs> Anyway, before I nerd you out too much, if you want to get LTOB Relight for yourself, then I'll leave a link in the description. It should be live now. It's 20 bucks, which I think it will repay itself in no time, but I really just want to know what you guys think because it is so much fun. Anyway, I've been Dan and I'll see you all next time. Have fun. Oh, my God.